God, and now that we can sing, that we can lift our voices to you. Because we know, God, that your favor, your kindness lasts for a lifetime. in God our Savior and my soul magnifies the Lord. Oh, blessed morning everyone. Shalom, shalom. There is always hope in Jesus. Today we have hope are of praying effectively. This morning, let's pray. Thank you so much, Lord, for this wonderful morning. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done. Salamat po sa Ginawa mo po sa aming uh, service kagabi sa tagumpay po ng ang gawain. Muli kang nataas at muli na palakas ang bawat isa. Ngayon pong pagkakataon na to muli ay uh, kami mga katanggap po ng kalakasan galing sa iyong salita at uh, kalakasan galing sa iyong presensya. Ngayon pa noon ay patuloy na kami lumakas, maging matibay sa tatanggap po namin na uh, uh, mensahe mo, O oh Lord ay patuloy na lumakad kami sa pananampatay, continue to act uh, and step in faith, O oh God. And we believe that uh, gaya po ng mga natutunan namin mga nakarang araw, O oh Lord, that there is always right timing 
and just wait patiently. He will continue to wait on you. Thank you so much, Lord. We are ready to receive your word. Ready to be empowered again in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going live. Hi. Hello. Hi, Chad. Hi. Just say hi. Hello. Oh, this is Chad. Oh, a very young, very young, good looking young man. Okay. God bless you, Chad. Uh, shalom, shalom, shalom. Blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will celebrate, we will rejoice, and we will be exceedingly guided for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. Hallelujah. I'm sending God's blessing. The shalom of God be upon all of you today. Nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is broken. June, June, Eden. Uh, okay, Pastor Afeli, every one of you today, I'm declaring his goodness overtake your life. His faithfulness, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I'm sending God's blessing to you, Mami Celia, Elena, people from different parts of United States and um, people from the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I am declaring to you God's goodness, God's faithfulness, God's grace will always run after you. They will hunt you. Opportunities will hunt down, hunt you down. They will look after uh, upon you and you know, you will be sought after in Jesus' name. We have powerful testimonies. A flight yesterday was delayed like for uh, when we were in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, going to Illinois because we have a mission trip to minister to a lot of the Myanmar people here in Chicago. Then we go to another city around three hours from here is Moline, Illinois. But there was some problem with the aircraft, the airplane. There was maintenance problem. So we've been delayed for like almost five hours first they said our flight is going to leave 3 20 in the afternoon then they said four o'clock then it was scheduled to uh it was scheduled at around 4 30 and then it was seven o'clock in the evening so i called a myanmar lady that has organized the meeting i said i think it's better because it's seven o'clock in the meeting and i said better cancel the at the meeting with us because we are going to be arriving in Illinois it's going to be very late maybe we will be in your place around 9 30 in the evening and so to make the story short the people were waiting for five hours and they did not leave the place that's how hungry they are this is the Lord was speaking to me and Apostle Sarah the time is now say the time is now People are hungry for God's word. And could you ever imagine there is a work today, it's not holiday, and they have a lot of children. You go, my, go to my uh, Facebook profile, you will see a lot of children. They did not leave. That's how hungry they are. They want us to, to minister to them, to preach to them the word of God at around 10 in the evening. And then, so I have an interpreter to preach to them. The time is now that people are so hungry for God. The time is now, your time of breakthrough. The people said, we want to experience what you've been declaring, Apostle uh, Abraham, Apostle Sarah. We want to experience the goodness of the Lord. And could you ever imagine that time is now? So, well, we just continue to uh, praise God for that. And thank you for your prayers that we were able to to arrive safe even though they changed the airplane okay they did not give us the the airplane that has was having problem they changed the airplane and we arrived safely yesterday and we are going to travel again tomorrow to another destination the harvest time is now and i'm declaring to you your children your family your uncles your aunties everyone will be so hungry for the word of god and uh, this is the time of your healing. 
This is time of restoration. This is a time of supernatural harvest. The time of financial overflow has come right now in Jesus' name. Okay, I want you to pray with me as we also pray for the family of Mami Susan uh, Cuevas and Sister Lean and the uh, and the, uh, the wife of Pastor Louis and the children. Let's pray because uh, they are grieving. They, we have lost Pastor uh, Louis Cuevas. He is a great servant of the Most High God, an army of God. So let's pray. Father, thank you for today. As we are now here in Illinois, in Chicago area, we pray for the for people who are in need of your thoughts, comfort right now, the whole family of Mami Susan Cuevas and everyone, we pray for God's comfort as they, they have lost Pastor Louis Cuevas. We speak the, the tremendous strength be upon them right now in the provision. Everything that they need is already provided even in this time of grief and loss. Father, thank you. And I'm declaring right now, the time has come for everyone to experience harvest. Harvest time is now in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, I want you to say out loud, okay? As you try, type it there, you say out loud, out loud my, my harvest time is now. Make it so loud in your house, wherever you are. My harvest time is now now so i've been declaring that and even i keep declaring it till that even the things that we did not plant we will harvest it and there were two um there were two uh buddhist people in that meeting last night at 10 o'clock we were preaching and then until 11 we were ministering amazing and one lady this lady buddhist she said she was the first to come to us and say uh, can you please pray for me I don't know Jesus I don't uh, believe what you believe but can you pray for me could you ever imagine the Buddhist uh, just make that decision last night and she was the one also to plant seed she said I want um, my two daughters to also experience what you are saying Apostle so I give God the glory I give God the praise people are coming to the saving grace of God harvest is now in Jesus name now let me bring to you this one more series of teachings this is part three that the right timing is now it's only a matter of time and the right time at the right time at the favored time god will do it okay isaiah 49 verse 8 this is what the lord says in a favorable time did you hear that it's a favorable time at the right time at the favored time I have answered you. Wow. Did you hear that? Joyce, at the favorable time or at the favored time, God has answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. This is the word of God to the people of Israel who are actually scattered all over the different nations because of their disobedience. I will keep watch over you and give you for a covenant of the people to restore the land from its present state of ruin and to apportion and give us inheritances the deserted hereditary lands. I'm declaring this to you right now at the right time. And the word right time, it is in the Hebrew word, it means pastoral uh, love, it means favorable time, favored time. Yes, in a favored time or favorable time, I have answered you. I'm declaring to you, now is your favorable time. Now is your time of restoration, Eden. This is a favorable time. You will see the glory of God. You know, when the people of Israel disobeyed God, you know, so many problems happen because people keep disobeying. People, yeah, they do their own thing. They worship the world. They worship idols. People worship work. People worship money. People worship houses. And in America, a lot of people, they have no time for God, but they, they love to spend time with the houses and, and the cars. They worship, you know, um, many things of the world and people. But the people of Israel, God actually um, disciplined them. That they were scattered all over the world. They were scattered all over the world. And God promised of restoration in the favorable time. Say favored time. You have the favored time. In, in NLT, it says, 
Oh, wow. I, I want you to listen. Get this. At, and just the right time, I will come and respond to you. On the day of salvation, I will help you. I will protect you. Wow. So see, listen carefully, guys. In the time that is the right time, favorable time, God said, I will answer you. Hallelujah. So I'm declaring to you that the time that God is coming, there's a time for your needs to be met. There's a time of complete healing. There's a time you are going to dedicate your house. There is already a scheduled time. Karen, scheduled time, say scheduled time. God has already scheduled the time for you to have the breakthroughs, for the complete healing to manifest, for every member of your family, and them to be restored and to serve the living God. Sally, there's already a scheduled time for you. So very, very important that you don't give up. You don't quit. When you see things not happening the way you wanted it to happen, just keep believing, keep declaring, keep listening to the Word of God. And you know, uh, we are in this house. This is the house of Brother Ramil. Look at this. this is, I'm at the backyard. This is beautiful house. Okay, Ramil has been diagnosed. You have heard his testimony, been diagnosed of fourth stage cancer in the lungs. And you know, the first thing they did, husband and wife, right away from the doctor, when the doctor said, you have fourth stage cancer, you only have two months to six months to live. The first thing they did is call Apostle Abraham and Apostle Sarah because they believe the Holy Spirit told them, Go to them, listen to them, um, to the preaching every day. During the time of COVID-19, the first wave, they called. Okay, now, tomorrow is his birthday. Ramil's birthday is tomorrow. And today is Hadassah's birthday. Ramil's birthday is tomorrow. It's a celebration of almost two years. When the doctor says only two months, God has the final word. Hallelujah. Say, God has the final word. The doctor has no final word. Your friends has no final word. Your family has no final word. God has the final word. He already scheduled a favorable time for you to answer you, to, the, to give the salvation of your family, to help you. And this time, God said in verse, in verse 8, one verse only and amplified, to restore the land from its present state of ruin. So the whole nation of Israel that was ruined, is being restored by God and God said I'm bringing this land back to you is going to be restored and there is going to be a portioning I'm giving back the land to you so whatever you have lost God is restoring it to you right now in Jesus name and God is distributing it God was planning to distribute it to the people of Israel to the people of Joshua to the people of Caleb there is distribution say distribution so this is the time of distribution, Romualdo. So I want you to receive it. And it says here, to restore the land from its present state of ruin. It was ruin, Junjun, and to receive the apportioning and give inheritances the deserted hereditary land. I'm declaring this verse to you guys. Every one of you will all have their own portion from the Lord. You will have your own land. And in NLT, it says, though you will reestablish the land of Israel and assign it to its own people again hallelujah so guys I'm declaring to you this beautiful message God is going to do it on a favorable time and when is that time now you know for me to see you know families by families with the children small children waiting for us for five hours waiting for us to receive that word they amazing to receive the preaching yesterday and I have interpretation that is the work of God so I'm telling you guys the harvest time is now say harvest time has come into my life father I just thank you for this beautiful message and thank you Lord that people have joined me today continue to move mightily in the name of Jesus and I'm releasing the apportioning of land apportioning of properties and also apportioning of the salvation to our loved ones to our families who are believing you father I pray right now that the time is now 
harvest time is now in every area spiritually you know numerically financially in every area the harvest time has come right now in Jesus name if you have not given your life to Jesus and you have not accepted him as your Savior and Lord would you pray with me and say Lord Jesus I repent I am a sinner and today I accept you as my Savior my Lord my life is yours in Jesus name amen everybody guys share this live video streaming to a lot of your friends to group chat to everyone at least to 50 people you know why because this is now the time that we can expect that even the things you have not planted as you are have the harvesters anointing God is giving to you as your harvest in Jesus name amen and amen see you tomorrow this is part three of the continuous series of okay it's only a matter of time god bless thank you guys for your prayers be blessed yan pwede po natin lagay sa comment section of the chat box ay po natin to my harvest time is now lagay din natin to the right timing is now yan feel free to type sa atin po comment section and chat box Let's declare that the harvest time has come at atong tamang panganahon upang purihin, sambahin, manalangin tayo sa Kanya, tanggapin natin ang mga pagpapala at sagot sa ating panalangin. Thank you so much, Lord, for that powerful message, the powerful declaration of the word by Apostle. Amin pong kiniklaim po ito sa amin, sa aming pamilya, mahal sa buhay, sa aming church, that we're going to harvest not only blessings, we're going to harvest O oh God, our families. Bring them to your kingdom. We're going to harvest people, souls, hungry souls that will come to you and accept you as Lord and Savior. And all the open opportunities. Oh God, this is the right timing para sa bawat isa, especially to the ABCF family. At sa lahat ng gagawin mo sa aming buhay, ikaw lamang aming pupurihin, ikaw lamang ang aming sasambahin, knowing and declaring that you are God alone. You are the only God that can do All of these things, miraculous things, the supernatural wonders, we worship and honor you. Thank you, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any more.
God alone, unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. The God that we can rely and trust. Salamat po, Panginoon. And in this moment, we commit ourselves to you in prayer. Kung hindi po kami maging uh, nasa atmosphere, spirit ko ng pananalangin. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkakataon na po. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Uh, Kung kayo po ay kapapasok lang sa FB or sa Zoom, shalom, shalom. Good morning. Ayan po. Patuloy po tayong manalangin para sa ibang tao, ibang lahi, ibang, ibang bansa. At ngayon po, magang ito, mananalangin tayo para sa San Marino. Ayan. Isang maliit na bansa sa Europe. Let's pray for the Holy Spirit-led evangelism. in this unevangelized nation. Let's pray for the religious people to be awakened to the truth of the Word of God. Let's pray for those deceived by materialism to be freed through security in Christ. Marinus, a Christian stone mason who found refuge from persecution on Mount Titano in 301 A.D., founded the Republic of San Marino, beginning as a small community of Christians. San Marino is the third smallest country in Europe with barely 61 square kilometers. Maliit lang. Maliit lang kung bansan ito. It is known as the world's oldest republic. San Marino attracts over 3 million tourists every year. San Marino has been greatly influenced by Italian culture with low national debt, budget surplus, and the lowest unemployment rate in Europe. San Marino enjoys a stable economy based primarily on tourism and banking. 88% of the population is Catholic. For many, faith and religion are valuable parts of their heritage but have very little transformational impact on their lives. Spiritual hunger has been replaced by materialism. Although there is freedom to worship, evangelism is almost non-existent. So, wala pong uh, nangangaral. So, nag-share ng walang God sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa kanya. The church in San Marino desperately needs a transformational encounter with the living God. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit will move the hearts of the believers who evangelize this nation. 34,000 lang po sila. Kanya lang sila kadami. So parang mas malaki pa yata yung isang barangay sa atin sa Pilipinas. So 34,000 pang 67 population. Okay, sa statistics po, okay, most of them are Catholics at 88% Christians, only 3% 
Agnostic, 6%. Atheists, 2%. And Bais, 1%. Actually, lahat po sa kanila nakarinig na ng Word of God. Well, just pray na yung narinig nila salita ng Diyos ay talagang mag, mabuhay, magkaroon ng uh, impact sa kanila. Talagang kilalanin nila si, Lord, si Jesus as Lord and Savior. Halos uh, lagpas kalahati po ng populasyon nila ay nagka-COVID na. 20,373. And as of now, meron po silang 8 new cases at Uh, total deaths ay naging 118. Dear Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, we lift up San Marino in our hearts. Thank you for giving this small but beautiful nation as a place of refuge and keeping your sovereign rule in San Marino for over 1,700 years. The beauty that you have created and maintained in this place is indescribable. From the castles that stand tall above the old town on Monte Titano to the people remembering its rich heritage, we are amazed at how you reveal a glimpse of yourself from your amazing craftsmanship. People from all over the world come to revel at your glory. We pray that through this glory, you would reveal Jesus Christ in the hearts of the people and in their lives. Although this nation is built on the foundation of Christianity, with a large percentage of the population considering themselves as Christians, please help them to fear you. Please help them to know you like you know us, so intimately and personally, with complete love transform their minds so that they are no longer conformed to this world but that they would share the gospel courageously you have given to them the world at their doorstep not just to sell material things but to provide for their need a living savior in jesus christ stir also in their hearts to love their neighbors as themselves to reach out to the lost and alienated and to those worshiping false gods Jesus, we are lost without you. We are all sinners and worship false idols if we do not renew ourselves by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please forgive us of our wrongdoings, because your power is made perfect in our weaknesses. We pray for a revival. We pray for an uproar of your believers to be the light of the world. We pray that San Marino will be your city on a hill. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray. So we will pray first for Macau, and then we will pray for San Marino. We will pray for the Philippines. Later on, we will pray sa people's uh, church, sa family, at sa mga prayer requests. Let's declare that God is able to answer our prayer.
Hallelujah, Lord God. You are able, Panginoon. Uh, we believe, Lord God, that we will overcome everything, Lord, in your name, Panginoon. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa biyaya ng buhay, Lord God, for your unfailing love. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your protection, Lord God. Your guidance sa araw-araw, Panginoon, ng aming buhay. Ikaw ang aming lakas, ikaw ang aming tanggulan, ang nag-iisang Diyos at ang aming Ama sa langit. Sinasamba ka namin, dinanakila ka namin, Panginoon. Malapit po kami, Panginoon, at humihingi ng kapatawaran, Panginoon, sa pasalanan na sinakalulukod sa inyong harapan, Panginoon. Pakalinisin mo po kami ng panal mong dugo. Baguhin mo po kami ayon sa wangit mong Diyos. Salamat po, Lord, sa forgiveness, Lord, sa pinarsin, Lord. Panginoon, itinataas po namin sa inyong bansang mukha o kami naman. Ikaw po ang maglinis. Ikaw po ang magbago sa buhay ng bawat isa na nandirito sa bansang ito. Naway makilala ka po nila, Panginoon, bilang Diyos, mga Diyos at hari ng mga hari. Maranasan rin ng bawat isa, Panginoon, ang kabutihan mo at ang kaluwalhatian mo. Panginoon, uh, ganal na Diyos, dalangin namin na bigyan mo po ng tamang karunungan ng mga leaders ng Macau, Lord God. Pagkaroon sila ng Godly ways, Lord God, to serve their government and their people, Lord God. Discernment, Panginoon. Love and compassion, Panginoon, na mag- nagagaling po sa inyo. Lead them, Lord God, to build a great nation and change them into your glory, alone, Panginoon. We believe that Macau will soon a country with faith and fear from you, Lord God. Ibangon mo muli ang antas ng ekonomiya ng Macau, Panginoon. Lahat po nang nawala ng work, we believe, Lord God, na magkakaroon ulit sila ng mas magandang opportunity kaysa dati, Panginoon. Lahat ng may sakit, Panginoon, gagaling sila, Panginoon. We rebuke all the work of the enemy, all the depression, Lord God, yung societal thoughts, Lord, yung kahirapan dito, Panginoon. Kawala ng vision, Panginoon, sa buhay. Loneliness, Lord God, and Godly ways, Lord God, will be crushed in the name of Jesus. We believe, Lord God, na lahat, Panginoon, ng masasamang nangyayari sa, sa bansang ito, Lord God, ay matatapos na, Panginoon. We pray for healing, Lord God, physically, Lord God, emotionally and spiritually. We ask for your restoration. Ang mga nawalan, ibabalik mo muli, Panginoon, ng doble-doble, Lord God. We believe for revival in this nation, Panginoon. Use every church, yes, Lord God, to proclaim your word, Lord God. Anointing overflow, Lord God, sa mga tinawag mo, Lord God. Let the power of the Holy Spirit your, uh, guide your people, Panginoon. Give them joy to serve others, Lord God. Alam namin, Panginoon, na ang makilala ka, Panginoon, ay sapat sa buhay namin. We want more effective in this nation, Lord God. Gamitin mo kami na maging effective, Lord God, na Christian sa San bansang ito, Lord God, that we'll, see your, that we'll see God in our ways, in our life, Lord God. Bring more missionaries in this place, Lord. Abutin mo yung mga di pa naaabot, Panginoon, ang yung salita. Panginoon, bless all the church, Lord God. Provide their needs, Lord God. And may your name be glorified, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, na soon, Panginoon, magbubukas na mga paliparan, Lord God. Magiging normal na, Panginoon, yung mga border gates, Lord God, will be open. Wala na, Panginoon, na magkakasakit sa bansang ito. Panginoon, lalayas na ang sakit na COVID. Lugar na ito, Panginoon. Magkakaroon ulit, Panginoon, ng joy, Panginoon, sa bawat mukha ng bawat Chinese, Lord. Mga, mga non-resident, Lord God. Bless mo po lahat, Panginoon, ng souls na nandirito, Lord God. Alam ko, Panginoon, na maraming trabaho na ang magbubukas, Lord. Maraming, Panginoon, maraming ng shop, Lord God, mga mga establishment ko, Lord God, na makakabawi ulit sa kanilang mga pagkalusi. Panginoon, we will see our family again, Lord God, makakabisita ulit sila dito. Panginoon, at mapapakilala ka namin sa bawat pamilya namin. Thank you, Lord, sa lugar na ito. Dahil sa bansang nakaw, Panginoon, malaya kami magtrabaho at higit sa lahat, malaya kami makapagsilbi sa inyo, Panginoon. We want to serve you in our best, Lord God. Because you are the joy of our heart, Lord God. Salamat, Lord, sa pagdinig mo ng lahat ng aming mga panalangin. We believe, Lord, na magkakaroon ng revival sa lugar na ito. Panginoon, uh, salvation, Lord God, in this nation. And uh, patuloy kami, Panginoon, na mananalangin 
Panginoon at itataas sa inyo ang makawat ng kitamihing hinto, Panginoon, hanggat hindi namin, Panginoon, nag-receive lahat ng aming mga dalangin. Lord, we believe in you. We believe in your power, Lord God. Salamat sa banal na espiritu, Lord God, na gumabalot sa bansang ito, Lord God. Itinataas po namin sa iyo ang bansang makaw, Lord. At alam namin ang bansang ito at ang mga tao dito ay para sa inyong pangalan lamang. Para sa inyong ikalulugod, Panginoon. We love you and we honor you, Lord God. Salamat, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are God that is able. Heavenly Father, your name is to be honored. You have set your glory above the lives of everyone. Your greatness is unsearchable, Panginoon. Today, we set our voices toward heaven, Panginoon, para idulog, ipanalangin ang bansang San Marino. Father, sabi mo sa iyong salita, our souls find rest in you alone. Our salvation comes from you. You are our rock and our salvation. You are our fortress. We will never be shaken. Naniniwala kami, Panginoon, na ang salitang ito will be done, will happen, Panginoon, sa bansang San Marino. Our Holy Father, nothing we can do without you. You are the source of wisdom and knowledge. We praise you because you are holy. We thank you for dwelling into the hearts of your people. You guided all your people into salvation. Niririn mo, Panginoon, ang mga patay na espiritu. At binubuksan mo ang ang puso, ang isipan, ang mata ng mga anak mo to know the truth. Send your Holy Spirit afresh upon your people in San Marino, those whom you use in sharing your gospel of truth. We didn't know the wonder of your plan sa bansang ito. Hindi namin alam kung ano at ang mga pamamaraan mo, O Lord God. But Lord, let the work of evangelism in this nation be done in a line of your ways lamang. Help your people to see you more clearly, that they will recognize the movement of your Holy Spirit sa buhay nila. Make them more sensitive to you so they can follow you more closely. Nagagawin lang nila ang anumang ninanais mo. They need you, Lord, to help them to be obedient when they recognize your leading. Help the work of evangelism in the evangelized places sa lugar na ito to be done with the leading of your Holy Spirit. Help all your people, especially those whom you used for evangelism, to walk in you. Grow grow good fruit in their lives, Panginoon. Produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control sa mga anak mo na ginagamit mo sa lugar na ito. Give them strength when they cannot take another step. Guide them into all truth. Patuloy mong i-remind sila, Panginoon, that your ways are always perfect. Give them, Panginoon, the boldness to testify about your doings and their lives and the lives of the Samarines. Shape all you use for evangelism, Panginoon, and mold them into a pure reflection of you, Panginoon, na sa bawat pupuntahan nila, they will be light, Panginoon, they will be the salt ng bawat makakaharap nila, makakasalamuha. Let them be always Let them be always humble in heart, O Lord God, and with an open heart, they will follow the leading of your Holy Spirit. Ganun din po, Panginoon. Patuloy namin idinudulog sa iyo, Panginoon, ang mga religious people sa place na ito. Let them be awakened to the truth of the word. The truth will set us free. Yan ang patuloy at lagi mong ipinapaunawa sa amin, O Lord God. Our living God, the sum of your word is truth. And every one of your righteous rules endures forever. Patuloy mo pong i-remove ang veil that covers those religious people in seeing the truth. Set them free from all the lies of the devils that told them. Enable them, Lord, to a, des- to a desire to see Jesus in their lives. We pray, Panginoon, ang salita mo ang malayang kumilos sa kanila. Let your word, O Lord, ang patuloy na mag-manifest sa buhay ng mga anak mo sa lugar na ito. Give them the grace to their hearts to be opened, O Lord God, upang sa ganon, they will listen your word of truth so that they will know and understand the power of your word only. That the power of your word is the giver of their life. By your grace and love, O Lord, allow those religious people in this nation to hear and act on that word of your na magta-transform sa kanila for better. 
Give them wisdom and understanding that by the power of Jesus' words, patuloy mong ipanawa sa kanila na ang lahat ay nagkaroon ng kagalingan na sa pamamagitan ng salita ni Jesus, the dead are raised, O Lord God, and even people, Panginoon, lahat ng sinners ay natatransform because of the truth of Jesus. Let them to choose wisely what they say and do that will give honor and glory sa iyo lamang, Panginoon. Use those religious people, O Lord God, upang patuloy na maunawaan ng marami, O Lord God, na ang maling paniniwala that the deception of the devil, Panginoon, ay patuloy na mabibreak na in the name of Jesus. We even pray for the deceived by materialism to be spread through security in Christ. Sa John 10.10, Panginoon, sa salita mo, sinabi mo that the thief, the thief comes only to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But you, Jesus, come to give people, to give us life to the full. And we believe, Panginoon, patuloy mong ipapaunawa sa mga mamamayan ng San Marino, O Lord God, that materialism is an attitude which attaches to money and materials that become a hindrance upang patuloy silang Maka, makakilos ng may kalayaan para sa Panginoon. Lord, today we pray that all the people in San Marino be open. Give them an understanding that as your word says, O Lord God, that their lives do not consist in the abundance of the things only they possess. Let them be freed, O Lord God, to be aware of the of covetousness. Help them not to trust in uncertain riches lamang, Panginoon, but they will trust in you alone, O Lord God. You alone, the living God who gives richly all things to enjoy. Help them, Lord, to break the bandage of conspicuous consumption over this nation. Help them to be a better steward of your resources lamang, Panginoon. You have blessed them, O Lord God. At naniniwala kami, Panginoon, kaya mong gawin. Tulad nga po ng awitin namin, you are able. Naniniwala kami in your mighty ways, O Lord God. Move across this land, dakilang Diyos. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang patuloy na kumilos. Great and marvelous are your works, our God Almighty. Just and true ang bawat pamamaraan mo. Kaya't naniniwala kami, Panginoon, kumikilos ka sa bansang ito, sa nasyong ito ng San Marino. We believe, O oh Lord God, that you are the God na patuloy na magbibigay sa kanila ng true riches kabaligtaran sa ini-offer ng mundo sa kanila. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na ang bawat mamamayan sa lugar na ito, O oh Lord God, ay isik ka, makilala ka, dahil pangako mo rin yan sa amin na sino mang kakatok sa iyong pintuan ay, pagburuk, buduru, ay bubuksan mo, O oh Lord God. At naniniwala kami, you will use people, mga, mga mission Naris mo, o Lord God, upang maihayagan salita mo sa lugar na ito. We believe that some marines is for Jesus. Let the revival, transformation, restoration, O Lord God, flows freely sa lugar na ito. Naniniwala kami, dakilang Diyos, that this place is yours. That Jesus is the only Lord na patuloy na kikilo sa lugar na ito. Salamat, Panginoon, for this nation. Bless them mightily according, Panginoon, to your riches and glory. Use this nation upang makita pa ng ibang mga nasyon that kapag ikaw ang Diyos, patuloy na mararanasan nila ang freedom in Christ, ang kalayaan para magpuri, sumamba, at kilalanin ka deeper. Salamat, Panginoon, for the nation of San Marino. We believe, O Lord God, that San Marines are for Jesus, that San Marino is the nation na kung saan ang pangalan mo ay maitataas. Salamat for this privilege na maidulog sa panalangin ang nasyon na ito. We all ask this in the faithful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
are praying for the Philippines. Kami pong dalangin sa bansa Pilipinas ang paghahari mo, ang iyo pong uh, patuloy na pagkilos for the government, for uh, everything, oh Lord, sa aming mga pamilya. Ito pong aming dalangin na patuloy na maranasan ang transformation at pagbabago ng bansang Pilipinas. Thank you so much, Lord, at ganyan po ang dalangin po namin sa amin pong mga prayer request ng aming mga kapatid, sa mga na NPL, sa mga magre-renew, nagpa-process ng visa. Thank you so much, Lord, we are claiming the answered prayers at with the favor na ito po ay maayos lahat, ma mag ma 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 process lahat at ang una, papaburan mo po Panginoon ang iyo pong mga anak. Papasalamat din po kami sa aming church. Thank you for the life of our pastor and his family and to the leaders and to the workers. We have continuously been blessing na sa man sila naturoon ang kapahingahan uh, sa mga namamahinga, ang kalakasan sa mga naghahanap buhay, nagtatrabaho at patuloy mo kami gamitin sa iyo pong glory and honor. Thank you, Lord. At ano man po mga prayer request po ng aking mga kapatid. Ito po, uh, Panginoon, ay naka oh, nakakabatid. Ikaw nakakaalam. Alam po namin na ikaw ay kikilos ng mga pangyarihan. Maraming po salamat. Ito po ang aming dalangin. Gabayan po kami sa lahat ng aming gagawin, sa lahat po ng aming desisyon, sa lahat po ng aming uh, mga uh, isipin at uh, ikikilos. We declare that today is a victorious day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's declare that we are blessed in Christ. Sabay-sabay po tayong magdeklara. I consistently trust and obey the Lord with all my heart, soul, and strength. I meditate and declare His word every day to prosper and succeed in life. I use my time, talents, and treasure to glorify God all the days of my life. I am always generous and never stop sowing For I surely harvest exceedingly, abundantly. I continue to learn, excel, and grow in all areas of my life. I am at the top and not at the bottom. I am the head and not the tail. I bloom in this church where I am planted. I am always cheerful and faithful to serve at all times. I am protected against all sickness, accidents, and works of the enemy because the blood of Jesus covers me. I am blessed to be a blessing for I am abundantly blessing Christ forever. Everybody say Amen. Shout out po sa mga nasa Facebook at nasa Zoom. Shalom, shalom everyone. Let's take a picture sa atin po mga nasa FB. Ayan. Shout out everyone. Bakit ako lang ang may camera? Ayun. <laughs> Sister Helen. Okay, anyway, okay lang doon sa iba kasi mga nasa work. So, yan, pinicturean ko na ang ating nasa Facebook. O tayo, magpicture tayo sa dito sa Zoom. Ah, oh, sige. Okay lang yan. Kahit mga profile picture na lang pakita nyo. Basta importante, online kayo. <laughs> Tama kayo sa ating prayer. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, isa na lang. Isa pa. One, two, three. Ayan. Sige. God bless you. Okay. Alam ko, busy na tayo ngayong araw na to. Let this day be a productive day in Jesus' name. A blessed day. Ay, habo na rin si Madam. Si Madam Fosset. Sister Fosset. One, two, three. Isa pa. One, two, three. Yan. Okay. Sige. God you, bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. God bless you. Magpalaya ka na Panginoon. Okay. Love you with the love of the Lord, everyone. Shalom, shalom. Let's end this meeting. Bye. See you on Sunday. Love peace natin. Sunday. Bye-bye. God bless you.